good morning guys today i'm going to show you how i make a roast beef uh, sandwich spread um, quite honestly i was surprised that uh, there are people that didn't know about this i guess it's because it's an old recipe and i'm an old woman <laughs> but let me show you what um what i've got here um i had made you know, just regular pot roast, uh, beef roast with the vegetables. We had a couple meals off of it. Um, and I had made a, a small one and a bit bigger one because I wanted the leftover beef. I've had several meals and typically with one that is literally this beautiful, if you can see this gelatin, I would go ahead and make beef stew and can up a bunch of beef stew with it. But a couple months ago when I had the virus, I canned up a whole bunch of beef stew then. So uh, today I'm going to make sandwich spread. And it's that time of year when you're busy outside and you just wanna come in and grab a quick lunch. So let, let me get things together and we'll come back and make this. It's so simple. Okay, I've got my ingredients together, of course, roast beef. And I just looked in the refrigerator, whatever I had, I, dill pickles, whatever. And I found some of my uh, green lime pickles. So I'm gonna make it more on the sweet side instead of the dill this time. So I'll use these pickles. I'm down to the nitty gritty in last year's onions crop. And this is all I have left. There's several about this size. I'm also down to just a couple garlic bulbs left from last year's garlic, and mine out in the garden won't be ready for a couple more months. So I bought a big bag of this peeled garlic. Yes, I know it's from China, but we gotta do what we gotta do sometimes. But the best part is it's already peeled, so I'm gonna use some of this garlic. And of course, mayonnaise, Miracle Whip, whatever you want. Um, you can use anything you want in this spread, whatever seasonings you like. And every time I make it, it tastes different because, you know, I measure precisely. <laughs> I just dump and pour and, and grind away and however it turns out, I just taste until it's right and it's good. I decided to move us over to the table so I could put the camera down. You could see what I was going to do. I also forgot I had some celery. So the celery won't get all chopped up with everything else, but I'll cut it up in small pieces and I'm going to add that. Okay, I've moved you back a little bit, so hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. Here's our roast. I'm going to start cutting this roast up into workable pieces that I can put in the food processor. Uh, I don't mind having, you know, the fat in the meat that I don't, I'm not going to worry about that, but I am going to cut off, I don't remember, I think this was a chuck roast, but there's pieces of gristle and fat that are in here. I've already taken the bone out and it went to the dog. Now remember, these are, our dog is a farm dog. He's had a whole lot worse than than uh, the bone from a cooked roast. And most of you don't wanna know what that is. So I'll just keep it my little secret. So I'm cutting off the big chunks of fat and gristle. And since I'm sure you've got better things to do than to watch me cut up a roast, I'll come back when I get it all done. Okay, I got the meat cut up into chunks. It's setting over by the food processor. And I think I already showed you my onions that I'm gonna use. It's the, the, just these little ones I have left over. Okay, I forgot to turn the camera on when I first got started, but I'm just putting this chunks of meat in the food processor. I'm just gonna put them a few at a time because <laughs> this thing's old. It's been cracked and glued, and but y'all know me, I'm a tightwad. Okay, 
Okay, I, I am going to grind it a little bit finer, but I'm gonna get all the meat ground up and then we'll come back and add the rest of the ingredients. Oops, I was wrong. There's a little bit too much, there's too much meat here to do it all in one grinding. So I ground it up a little finer. And since it's a little bit dry, I'm gonna go ahead and add some of these pickles to give it some moisture. Okay, I'm just gonna add a few pickles and a little bit of the juice. Those are my green lime pickles that I make. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna grind it a little more so the pickles aren't so chunky. All right, get a bowl, pour it in a bowl, and this is how much meat I've got left. I'm going to be pouring this mixture into a bowl and then grinding up the meat, and then we'll be back. Okay, I've got the last of the uh, meat in here and it's coarsely chopped. So now I'm going to add the onions. And I'm, I don't think that's gonna be enough onion. I think I'm gonna get more. And I've got three garlic cloves that I'm gonna put in. I don't think that's gonna be enough, so we'll just have to taste it and see. Okay, I just don't think that's enough onion, so I've got two more onions. They're real small, about the size of what I had before, and I'm gonna put in three more cloves of garlic. And I'm gonna get that all ground up. All right, I've added all of the pickles, and now I'm going to grind all of that as fine as I could, as I can get it. I moved you back over to my table, and this is what I ended up with. So I'm mixing it all together, and it's pretty dry, so that's where the mayonnaise comes in. Another thing that I do add for um, more moisture is I will often add the pickle juice, especially dill pickle juice, um, just gives it more of that flavor. But since we're using sweet this time, um, of course I'll add the sweet pickle juice. So I'm gonna move the camera down to where you can see what I'm doing and we'll start adding the mayonnaise. I've moved you down. Um, to where you can see the bowl and what I'm doing. And remember, I am very precise on all my measurements, but we'll start with the cup. Eh, that doesn't look like much. How about three blobs, dollops, we'll call them dollops of mayonnaise. Yeah, I know it looks like a lot, but that's a lot of meat I've got in there, meat and vegetables. So you just keep stirring until you get it all worked in. I haven't added any other seasonings like salt and pepper or anything else. I'm just doing the meat and vegetables for now. Well, I don't know. Pickle, pickles probably aren't considered a vegetable, but... I don't think I want any more mayonnaise. It just feels dry to me. I think I've got plenty of mayonnaise here. Okay, I've got the mayonnaise all worked in and I'm just gonna taste it and see what I think. It is plenty sweet from the pickles. 
I'm not going to add any more pickle juice. And I'm going to add um, salt and pepper in that called salt and pepper to taste. And I'm going to mix that up. And I guess I will add just a little bit more mayo. No, there's some there I didn't get mixed in. I don't want to put too much mayo in it. I don't want it to be overpowered with the taste of mayonnaise. This is a good sandwich spread. It's really good on crackers, and quite honestly, it's just good eating alone. Have another fork. That tastes pretty good. So now I'm gonna be putting lunch together. This will be, we're gonna have this for lunch on sandwiches. And the longer it sets in the refrigerator, the more the flavors will come together. And it just gets better every day. So that's how I make um, leftover roast beef sandwich spread. Thanks for watching guys. See you later. Well, I turned around and I realized I forgot to put the celery in. So I've just got two stalks of celery. I'm gonna cut the ends off, cut this end off. Just cut the tip off and now it gets kind of dry. You know where that's going? Going in my little freezer bag. And then I'm just gonna chop this celery into bite-sized pieces and that'll add a little bit of crunch to your um, meat spread. Okay, this is the celery I chopped up. And again, I don't think it's enough. So I may, I'm gonna mix it up and see if I need to add another stalk or two. Okay, I ended up only using two stalks of celery. You can kind of see it in there. Um, and as I was chopping the celery, I got to thinking about all the different ways that you can make this. It's basically open up your refrigerator and see what you've got. Some people will add chopped up boiled eggs, um, chopped up apples, nut pieces. Um, you know, the sky's the limit, whatever you want to do. I do it with um, leftover chicken and turkey as well. Um, any meat, just grind it up and, and add whatever, whatever tickles your fancy. <laughs> but whatever sounds good to you, open up the fridge, see what you got, and... I think it grew. I had that bowl of meat, but this obviously is going to make it go a long ways. I probably, I don't know if you can freeze it. I, I don't know. I've never froze it. Uh, so, you know, maybe somebody in the comments will know. All right. Now, thanks for watching and see you later.